What's up guys, T Cal Senex back with another video and today I'm going to be taking you through a full chest, triceps and front delt, side delt workout. So I recently reprogrammed my workout so the way it's going to work from now on for me anyway is I'm going to do an 8 day split. So it's going to be 3 days on, 1 day rest, 3 days on, 1 day rest and repeat. So it's 8 days in total and uh, there's going to be a push day, a pull day, a leg day and uh, there's going to be an A day and a B day so meaning that the first push day is going to be different from the second push day so to make that clear I have push day A, pull day A, leg day A, rest push day B, pull day B, leg day B, rest so A and B workouts are going to be slightly different so it means that in those 8 days I target each muscle group twice, which is the best for growth and just to get stronger overall and really stimulating the muscle regularly. And because I have the A and B days, it means I'm getting different exercises in on those days. So I can put more emphasis on maybe hamstrings on A day and quads on B day. Just an example. So that's how it's going to work for me from now on. And uh, what I'm doing today, um, just so you know, I will put it in the description below but I'm going to be doing some pseudo push-ups, so I'm going to do as many as I can in a row, rest, the next set I'm going to do as many as, I'm going to do one less than the first set, so let's say I do 17 in the first set, I'll do 16 in the next, then 15, and then 14, so I'll do four sets total, pyramid style, um, then I'll be doing plyometric push-ups, four sets to failure, so I'll pick any um, explosive push-up exercise, so flat push-ups, um, alternating uh, plyometric push-ups, just anything like that. Then I'll be doing some weighted dips, so I'm aiming to do three sets of eight with as much weight as I possibly can. Then body weight dips, just to get more reps in as well, so I'll do three sets of that. Then I'll be doing some tricep extensions, three sets to failure, handstand or pike push-ups. So I'll probably start off with handstand push-ups and get really tired because my shoulders are going to be absolutely fried already. And then I'll move down to pike push-ups when I can't do the handstand push-ups anymore. Then, to finish it off, I'll be doing some handstand holds. So I'll do four sets and I'll hold it for as long as I can. That way I'll really finish off my shoulders, my triceps, and uh, just end the workout that way. So, before I start, and before you start, if you're wanting to do the same workout, what we're going to do is make sure that we warm up our elbows, our shoulders, all the muscles that are going to be involved. So it's going to be your chest, triceps, and uh, your front delts mainly. So warm those up, warm your neck up, just get everything nice and loose before you work out and then you do a few warm up sets just to get the muscles activated and then start your workout. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna stop rambling, I'm gonna get right into it and I'm gonna show you a set or two with a few angles and move the camera around as much as I can. Obviously, I don't wanna play around with the camera too much because I wanna get good intense workout on. and. Uh, I'll try to explain what I can during the rest periods, and uh, yeah. So I'll film what I can, one set of each at least, of each exercise, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. from my maximum repetition set, which was the first set. 
Now, moving on to plyometric push-ups. plyometric push-ups done as you can see I kind of I mixed it up a bit I did some clap, clap push-ups sorry and I did some alternating push-ups as well so when I say plyometric push-ups just pick whichever variation you feel like if you feel like really challenging yourself go for like Superman push-ups or Aztec push-ups or just go for clap, clap push-ups I keep saying clack for some reason clap push-ups or alternating plyometric push-ups. Either way, it's gonna work. It's gonna work you hard. As you can see, I'm out of breath, so definitely works. Anyway, now on to the next exercise. single handstand push-up was done. I think I'm gonna have to put it back to the start of my workout because it's one of the harder movements and I didn't really think about that so now that I'm fried trying to do one of the hardest exercises isn't really the best idea so I'll probably move that towards the front of the workout for next time and hopefully that goes better. to the last exercise so we're gonna do four sets to failure holding a handstand uh, until we can't anymore so gonna do one minute rest between sets here we go guys that's the workout I hope you enjoyed it feel free to try this yourself um, like I said during the workout I'm probably gonna move my handstand push-ups uh, towards the beginning of the workout because it's one of the more difficult moves and obviously you're fried after doing all those push-up variations so it wasn't a wise move of mine to put it where I put it in the workout so I'll change that up for sure Otherwise, the workout went pretty well. I obviously have to work on my shoulder strength for pushing vertically, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with how I did. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep working on it, keep getting stronger. You guys should do the same. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more, check out my social media links in the description below if you want to. And uh, of course, stay tuned for more videos because I have a lot more coming, full workouts, short follow along workouts, uh, tips, tutorials, things like that. Uh, I'm going to be making a list of everything I need to do because there's so much that it's just kind of all over the place. So 
Hopefully you'll enjoy what's to come, you've enjoyed what's already on my channel and you enjoyed this video like I said probably three times but never mind. Anyway guys, until next time, stay strong, peace out.